Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode in A Stronger Mind. I'm Jakob Carlsen and I was diagnosed with depression and social anxiety. Uh, and in this new chapter of A Stronger Mind, I share with you guys what I learned in my journey of ending depression in my own life so that you can take these tools in, to practice and end your own depression. Today, uh, we're gonna get to five solutions to ending depression. But prior to that, I'm going to be explaining some things to you. So what is coming in this video, it's going to be the first. I'm going to explain to you the difference with being depressed and feeling depressed. I'm then going to share with you the actual difficulty of ending a depression. What are the obstacles that you should expect to meet? Uh, thirdly, I want to explain to you the benefits of ending uh, the depression in your life why should you actually do that and fourth i'm going to be explaining to you the solutions the five solutions that i have so let's get started what are the difference between being depressed and feeling depressed we can all feel depressed uh, it's quite normal to use this term I feel depressed that is the fact when you wake up and you just feel like this is a crap day I don't really want to do anything or for whatever reason you might have had a rough week or uh, so on and so forth maybe it will last a week or something maybe some days uh, that is when you feel depressed being depressed is when this feeling lasts for a longer time uh, let's say for my experience I felt depressed for four years so I was depressed I was clinically diagnosed with a depression my doctor said so and it's important to know this difference because there are very different ways of getting through feeling depressed and actually being clinically diagnosed with a depression so with that being said what are the difficulties of getting through a depression the difficulties with getting through an actual depression when you're clinically diagnosed is the reason why you are depressed depressed people often don't really want to do much so that means when you're really depressed oftentimes people do say things like i don't want to get out of my bed while they don't want to get out of their bed because they're depressed that's also what is keeping them depressed because getting out of your bed and doing something is exactly what's going to help but because you're depressed you don't see the point of doing it so you kind of stay in the same place so then we get to the benefits <laughs> why should you work through your depression why should you actually engage in this well <laughs> probably the biggest thing for me was memory loss depression is in studies i'm gonna point to in the description below uh, proven to cause short-term memory loss so while i was depressed i felt so stupid uh, i remember i was like uh, could not remember anything now that i'm not depressed anymore uh, my memory has greatly increased i have not nearly as much struggle remembering things like phone numbers or uh, codes or stuff like that passwords uh, or just things that people tell me I will be able to remember this uh, when I was depressed I didn't have any energy to rem think about what people told me I didn't have any extra uh, mental strength in order to engage in other people's life I could only think about myself so this is a major uh, benefit of working through depression for me uh, that I hope is also going to benefit you. So now we're going to get to the solution. So what are the five things you can do to end uh, your depression? So the first thing I would say you should do that is go get a blood test. Because if you're having seasonal depression uh, or if you're just constantly on a low, the chances are you might be lacking something like vitamin D. Uh, now this is also uh, proven to have an effect on your uh, mental health and it has a positive effect when you have enough of it. So take a blood test, go to your doctor, say, hey, I am feeling depressed. Uh, I'm wondering if it might be 
something that I'm lacking of nutrients or micronutrients and then your doctor will help you get a blood test and check your values regardless if everything is fine or not taking multivitamins and the vitamin d supplements in winter time is just good for you and i would recommend you do this uh, the second thing that you should do is uh, make sure that you get some exercise because going for a walk getting out in nature go make a campfire work out in the gym whatever all these things increases just your natural uh, dopamine levels uh, and your brain will reward you for this so go do it uh, the third thing that you should do uh, that is watch your sleep what i can tell you from my own experience is that when i was depressed if i did not sleep nine or ten hours i wouldn't function that means if i went to university uh, in eight hours of sleep I would really struggle focusing seven hours I would be a zombie if I slept nine hours I would be able to actually fo focus and concentrate if I slept ten hours I would probably be focusing the best why you should make sure to get enough sleep is because when you are depressed your mind is spending a lot of energy uh, on just working through probably uh, old traumas or is working through all these things that are uh, causing the depression and you will just have less mental energy so making sure that you actually get the sleep you need is really important and which leads me to the next point that is making sure your food is right so if you had a hard week you've slept five hours every night uh, you've had mcdonald's for dinner every day you have uh, not been on a single uh, workout uh, or you have not been going for a walk you've just been buying takeout and laying on your couch for five days straight with for whatever reason no sleep as well uh, if you're now saying that hey i'm so depressed while well, your choices now have might have a direct uh, influence on the reason why you're feeling depressed because when you're treating yourself as crap uh, you also probably feel like crap so to the last point of this video the last solution it's about feeling one of the most important uh, things that i learned in this journey that was an experiment i read about of people being put in a dark tank uh, and in this dark tank there are no uh, distractions like they can't bring their phone there are no uh, video games no tvs whatever no toys no nothing they can play with they just have to stay there in this dark tank uh, for themselves the point of this is to see what's happening how long can you stay there and oftentimes people can't stay there long they <laughs> go crazy uh, but the whole point of the experiment was uh, really really valuable that is making sure that you sit down with yourself and actually give yourself time to be sad that means if you are feeling sad you don't run to a video game or you don't run to a, a drug or something like that you don't run to an escape but you actually acknowledge the fact that today i'm feeling depressed today i'm feeling sad instead of just stuffing this down and having to deal with it later i'm gonna acknowledge the fact that today is a sad day and life is not uh, always great although i've worked through a clinical depression i can still have days where i feel sad or i feel depressed and those days i need to be honest about it and say today i feel sad I'm gonna sit down and feel this sadness. What is the reason for it? I'm gonna walk, go for a walk and I'm gonna think about these things, spend some time contemplating on it or talk to someone about it. Just don't escape it through a drug or through video games or something like that. So these were my five solutions for you. So thank you guys for watching. Jakob Carlson from A Stronger Mind. Like and subscribe and share it with someone. If you know anyone who's working through depression, uh, let them see this video and hopefully it will help them too. Talk to you guys soon.